Hello, welcome back uh, at vacarm.net. We're here with Fallen at, at Atlanta for the E-League Major. So congrats uh, for your game. So can you come back uh, quickly on it, please? Uh, I think it was a good game. We lost the pistol round uh, as terrorists, but we won the second round. It's very difficult. Some people think teams are throwing when they lose these rounds, but the, the truth is the pistols are very powerful in this game. And if you do something good, you can win these rounds. And we managed to come back on 5-1 because of this round. And then we start exchanging some rounds, but every time they won around the CT, we were able to break their economy. So that made the half very difficult for them. And then on CT, we, I think we won the pistol, but they made a good third round. And we took some rounds to come back to the game and we finished on 16-7. It was a good game, I guess. Okay. Um, did you prepare especially for Erasers or other teams? Or it was a global... Now, being honest, we are not prepared for anything in particular because I think the break was too long. I mean, uh, if you go and check demos, it's going to be from last year. Uh, maybe some teams you can watch some tournaments they played this year, but it's, it's not so fresh. So if you start paying too much attention, you might go to the game and, 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 find, and find out something very different. So we're way more focused on getting ourselves in, in shape, organizing ourselves, and, know, and try to think what we're going to face. So it's more about us than about the other teams. Um, could you come back uh, on the FNX kick? Uh, we tried to solve some problems we had with him in game and out game. Uh, I think he made some uh, adjustments. He tried his best to, in order to to make it a good environment, but in the end, it wasn't working anymore. And the team wanted someone fresh. So right now we're playing with Fox and waiting for a solution for the next player. Okay. So now you you said it. You're with Fox. So how is it going with him? And how do you choose uh, who gets the AVP since you calls on him can take it? Uh, I think on our team, everyone can pick the AVP. Even Fur, Fur is, I think, is the last one to pick it. But Taco has some roles on some maps where he's playing the AVP. Fox is a good Alper. Me and Code Zero have been playing Alper for quite a time already. So it's based on the response sometimes if you can have a good pick or some role you want to do or some specific setup. But most of the time it's going to be me, but the other players are great with their weapon as well. So we can count with them. So, was it frustrating for you and your team to, to not win any tournaments since uh, the Colon Major? Uh, frustrating, I think, is not the word. I think it, it was kind of sad because we had everything it takes to be champions. Every time we were very close, we lost some finals where we had the upper advantage and we let it go in the last second. So, it feels a little bit sad, but if you, I prefer looking in, in the better perspective. We are top four on almost every single tournament this last year, which is something very difficult to accomplish. So instead of being crying because we didn't want to, I just think we need to get better so we can start winning again. Okay. So considering uh, you have a standing for, for the major, um, what's, your, what's your goal? Well, on this major? Yeah, on this major. Yeah, our goal is to win this major. I mean, it's going to be the third third title in a row on majors if we are able to do it. It's something that I think... And no, Never has been done by any team. I think Fnatic won three, but not in a row. So we can put our, our marks in the history here. So we're going to do our best to perform very well, not only for ourselves, but for our country, and to try to achieve this history. Yeah. Real competitors. So now, on a fun note, how, do you, how uh, did you get in touch with Neymar? And uh, do you discuss with him uh, often? Uh, Neymar, so we have a friend in common, which is a poker player, his name is Andrea Cari, and he's starting to look more into esports, because in Brazil there was a lot of regulations happening in the country, where we're, we're trying to, it's happening already in the government, where they're trying to make esports being seen as something real, and not only like lucky games and something like that, so pokers and, poker and esports games are together on that fight, trying to make the environment progress in Brazil. And Andre Akari is a friend of Neymar and he invited us to go to his house and we just discovered that Neymar is actually playing a lot of CSGO recently. He's really enjoying it. It was quite fun. I think he was watching our game today. Yeah. So, thank you.